How's it going everyone? Maryland here, and today I'm going to show you something that people have been asking about since the very beginning. Ugh, and I've not been looking forward to doing the video on it because I know it's just going to be a pain. Anyway, do you remember that dropped item I picked up all the way back in... I don't remember which episode, it was an early episode. But right over here in this area in Nimbasa City, there was an item just kind of sitting here, and that is the dropped item. So, we're going to figure out what to do with this thing. Ever since I picked it up, I've been receiving these weird calls from this nice sounding lady called Yancey. Well, we're going to show you, uh, well, we're going to find out where she's at, and we're hopefully going to meet her, too. Um, let's see. Oh, hi, Hugh. What's up, buddy? Yeah, so, first things first, let's take a look at all the places that I have received calls from Yancey. Now again, if you're playing as a female character, you'll be receiving calls from Curtis instead. But since I'm playing as the male, I'm just going to go ahead and, um, I'm just going to refer to the character as Yancey for the rest of this video. Anyway, let's take a look really quick at all of the previous places that I have encountered her. Okay, there you go, there you have it. So, what we need to do, if I'm reading all this correctly across several different sources, I need to have a total of 10 phone calls. So, I need to figure out where she's at. I need to go to some of the locations that I might not have checked out first. Uh, let's put Scaly up front. Okay, um, you have to step on those very specific spots in order to trigger any call. I'm gonna try go to Route 9 because I don't remember if I've seen one there. Let's take a look.
Hi, is this Devin? Really? Trades? You do those often, Devin. Can we do that when we have a chance to? Trade? Oops. My colleague is calling me. I have to get back to work. Talk to you again. Goodbye. And she's gone. Well, right here is one of the places you can have her call you. If you step on this very spot here, which is right by that tree, and also right kind of lined up with this thing right here, she'll give you a call. And also there's a hidden grotto right here. I totally missed this when I was playing through um, the Route 9 the first time around, so I'll just check it out here. There's a Hyper Potion. Uh, I don't remember what you can get here, but there's some cool stuff, I guess. Um, anyway, let's take a look at some of the other places she might be at. So I'll see you in a second. Oh yeah, I still have to catch you. Okay, so on Route 11, this spot right here, right by that truck, will trigger another call. Hi, is this Devin? Really? Wise is what you want to become, Devin. I think it's wonderful for anyone to have, to have a dream. I must work hard, too. Oops, my colleague is calling me. I have to get back to work. Talk to you again. Goodbye. Ah, I need to find her again, man. Anyway, right here is another spot where she'll call you. Should be right in this corner, right here. Yep, there we go. Okay. Hi, is this Devin? Great, Devin, you have eight gym badges. You are a tough trainer, aren't you? Oops, my colleague is calling me. I have to get back to work. Goodbye. Ugh, I know, you have to do this a total of ten times in all before you even get a chance to meet. I know, it's crazy. Um, so, let's see. I think on Route 6 there's another spot she'll call. I don't remember if she has called me there yet or not, but we're going to find out. Okay, so I think the next spot is actually right here. Yeah, directly south of that parasol lady. Hi, is this Devin? I am off today, so I was thinking I could pick up my cross transceiver. The one you've been keeping for me. Are you busy, Devin? Really, you aren't? Good. Can we meet at the Ferris Wheel in Mbasa City? I'm looking forward to seeing you there, Devin. Goodbye. Yeah, so after the tenth call, you will be able to visit her. Finally, after all this time, you'll be able to see the person who's been calling you like a weird stalker. Although a really nice flirty one. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess there's a total of 15 different areas she could call you at, and you need to visit at least 15 of those spots. And visiting them on the tile directly. So, hopefully that, uh, that gives you an idea of what's up. I'll show you... Well, you've probably already seen all the ones I've been to. Now, let's go to Nimbasa City. And let's see what she has to say. Ooh, hello. No, I'm not who you think. What? You're Devin? I'm so sorry. I thought you were someone else. Well, uh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Yancey. You are different than I imagined, so I was a little surprised. <laughs> I suppose so. We can just talk normally. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, here you go. Here's the dropped item. Thank you, Devin. I'm sorry I couldn't find the time to pick it up earlier, but I really enjoyed talking with you, so maybe I was a little lucky. Ooh. Um, if you don't mind, can I still call you sometime? Sure thing. Whew. I was really scared you might say no. Yeah! Got me your number. <laughs> can I ask you one more thing? I called you on the cross transceiver too often and my... I mean, one of my co-workers got really mad at me. So, Devin, could you call me? What? Really? Thanks. Devin, you're really nice. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm usually at work, and sometimes I have trouble picking up a signal. But I'd like it if you check your tr cross transceiver often and give me a call. <laughs> well, I'll be heading home. Goodbye, Devin. Alright. Well, there we go. Now, the fun part. Because it just doesn't stop there, right? I think you can either call her or um, or you still have to go to the, the previous areas and track her down again. So I'm going to see what happens if I call her with my own cross transceiver. Uh, it doesn't look like I can do that. That's too bad.
Okay, I'm gonna try something now. Oh, now I can call her. All right, it looks like I have to be in one of the locations that I, uh, oh, there she is. Looks like I have to be in one of those locations and I have to keep checking my cross transceiver. Yeah, I can talk right now. You know, ooh yeah, I'd like to talk. Thank you for the other day. I was surprised you were my age. I was guessing you would be older than me from your voice. It made me a little nervous on the cross transceiver, you know. <laughs> I'm kind of relieved that I can relax from now on when we talk. I should get back to work now. Talk to you later, Devin. Bye. No, I don't need to call anyone. Okay, well that's just great. Uh, let me see if I can actually... Oh, now she doesn't show up on the list. All right, so that's why. Now it's making a little bit more sense. So let's see if I go on to Route 13, if I can call her again. And you know, if you're doing this, it'd probably be a good idea to set your cross transceiver as one of your favorite items. Register it, so then you'll be able to use it by pressing Y. Okay, so, nope, doesn't look like she's showing up here. Um, let's see. Okay, so here we are, Route 11. I need to fight you still. And let's see if I can call her. There we go. All right, Yancey. Let's do this. Ah, Devin. Yeah, I can talk right now. You know, my hobby is cooking. When I hear about good food, I go and check it out for myself. Oh, you should check out my Emerald Nuzlocke Challenge <laughs> on YouTube, of course. Lately, the Castelia cones in Castelia City are getting quite popular, so I've been wanting to try one. But there is a long line every time I go there, so I haven't tried it yet. I should get back to work now. Talk to you later, Devin. Bye. Whoop. All right. Wait, can I call her back? That'd be too easy. Great. Yeah, I can talk right now, you know. I like normal-type Pokemon a lot. They can become whatever they want to be if they work hard. Don't you agree that they have that kind of charm? Besides, there are so many cute Pokemon among them. Oh, I totally agree. Okay, great. Um, looks like she can't call. So, we need to keep going back and forth to the areas that she might be at. And then we need to, uh, need to keep calling her. Okay, is she here? Yes, she's here. Let's call her. Ah, Devin, yeah, I can talk right now, you know. I love music. I listen to pop off and I think. Listening to what you think? I listen, or listening to music makes me smile, doesn't it? I may not look it, but I'm pretty good at singing and that stuff. I'd like you to listen to me sing when we have the opportunity, if you don't mind. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Oops, I don't need to call you. There she is. Ah, Devin, yeah, I can talk right now, you know. Devin, have you participated in the Pokemon musical? I've been wanting to play dress up with my Pokemon. It'll make it cute and have it participate, or I'll make it cute and have it participate in a musical. When my Pokemon would receive fan letters, they'd help keep it motivated. I should get back to work now. Oh yeah, all right, so we have to find her again. Oh man, this is just a, Real pain, I tell ya. But, just keep at it. Gotta do this a total of 50 times. Okay, but you get to learn a lot of, a lot about her. <laughs> I usually go for a walk on my days off. Walking at my own pace, seeing different things alone is a good change of pace. I went to Nimbasa City for a walk that day and dropped my cross transceiver. I can say my walking let us meet, Devin. Aww. She's so great. Whoops. Wait, can I call her back? Wait, wait! Definitely take those opportunities. <laughs> okay, um, I trade Pokemon often. My job requires me to go to various regions, so I trade with people there for the memories. I'd love to trade Pokemon with you someday, you know. All right, Devin, I should get back to work now. Yeah, well, that is the ultimate goal of this. No, the ultimate goal isn't for her to become your girlfriend, unfortunately, or... For her to become mine, hoo hoo. Um, no, actually the goal is once you've gotten to 50 different calls, then um, you can trade with her. And that's pretty cool, actually. She has some kind of neat Pokemon. They all have their hidden abilities, which makes it rather fun. Okay, well, she's not here.
There we go. Let's give her a call. I want to become someone cool. I don't mean someone who appears cool. I'm talking about substance. I have a long way to go, but I believe one day I'll become someone with cool substance by working hard at my job. I hope you'd support me. Oh, of course. All right. Well, let's see where she's at next. Okay, let's give her another call. Ah, Devin. Yeah, I can talk right now. My dad and my brother were having a Pokemon battle the other day. They were having so much fun. Then my sister started crying, saying she wants a Pokemon too. It took us some time to calm her down. I should get back to work now. Bye! Oops, wait, I didn't see. Can I call her back? Nope. Oh well, on to the next area where she might be at. Okay, time for another Yancey call! Okay, let's see. Time flies when I talk to you, Devin. I must be having a really good time. <laughs> calls from you are always welcome, you know? I should get back to work now. Man, I just love calling her up. That's so great. <laughs> It's that time again! Time for another call to Yancey! I hope you can help me with this. Have you seen what they call dark tall grass? I see, so high level Pokemon may jump out at you. I knew it was a dangerous kind of tall grass. I should tell my brother and sister to be careful then. Thanks, Devin. Talk to you later. Bye! Okay, I have not been keeping count, but I know I've got to be pretty close to the Ferris wheel at least. So, uh, yeah, I'll just keep at it and, yeah, just keep going all those locations. Should be all you need to do. Just keep checking your cross transceiver at the 15 different locations that she could be at. Ride back and forth between them. Fly if you have to. Actually, I really recommend flying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so let's see if I can find her. Yo, where you at? Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll let you know when I find her. All right, another Yancey call! Sweet! Um, okay, um, I hope you can help me with this. I want to get my sister a Pokemon. I guess you are right. You think her first Pokemon should be of grass type. I'll go catch one of my sisters soon. Thanks, Devin. Talk to you later. Oh, yeah. I can call her again. It's a two-for-one deal. <laughs> okay. Um, I hope you can help me with this. I just made a mistake at work. Yeah, I feel better talking to you, Devin. I'll keep in mind not to make the same mistake twice. <laughs> you made a mistake! Okay, well, <laughs> we didn't really resolve that, but whatever. Yeah, I can talk right now. Okay, let's see. I hope you can help me with this. Have you heard of the Metal Rally? Really? Sounds like a fun event. I had no idea. This strange man caught me off guard by giving me these medals. I'll start collecting them since you are. Thanks, Devin. Yeah, I should probably get to that sometime. It's just such a pain having to go through all those medals. I really don't want to collect them all in this game. It's just going to take so long. It's not really worth recording. <laughs> Okay, now let's just see if she's on Route 9. Otherwise, I'm going to have to fly all over the place. Nope, she's not. So, looks like we're going to go back somewhere. Just got to keep this up. <laughs> just got to keep it up. It's kind of boring. Oh, I won't lie. It's very boring. Very boring. Oh, man. Okay, well, just keep at it. Keep at it, and then you'll get the reward you want. Trading Pokemon, of course. <laughs> cool, there she is. Okay, um, I hope you can help me with this. I have trouble battling against my brother's Levani. Of course, I'm glad I asked you. I'll have a Fire-type Pokemon battle Levani next time. Thanks, Devin. Yeah, that's smart. That's what that is. Okay, whoops.
There we go. Okay, let's give another call. Ah, Devin. Yeah, I can talk right now. Well, um, I hope you can help me with this. I had an argument with my dad about my job yesterday. Yeah, I feel better talking to you, Devin. I'll go apologize to my dad. I'll stay calm and be sincere. Thanks, Devin. Cool. Great, you do that. Oh, goody. Okay. Um, I hope you can help me with this. Somebody gave me a dowsing machine the other day, and... Oh, I see! The dowsing machine can be used in so many places. I'll use mine often from now on. Thanks, Devin. See ya! But it looks like I was right on my hunch. Okay, so... Um, I hope you can help me with this. How do I... How do I look with this hat? <laughs> I'm glad I asked you. Hey, you're making me blush. Thanks, Devin. Talk to you later. Wow, I'm such a ladies' man. All right, let's call her back. Talk about that hat more. Okay, um, I hope you can help me with this. I have this person who's really good at what we do at our workplace, and I can't help but feel so competitive. Yeah, I feel better talking to you, Devin. I guess it's not him, but my own self that I must overcome. Thanks, Devin. Talk to you later. Cool, I got two calls here. That was great. Okay, now let's just keep at it. Still have so many to go. But I think pretty soon I'm going to meet her for the Ferris wheel. Hopefully. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Er, um, I'm off today, so can we meet somewhere? You've been helping me a lot lately, so I'd love to thank you face to face. Really, you can? Great! Can we meet each other at the Ferris wheel? I'm so looking forward to it, Devin. See you later. It's a date, so once she says that, make your way as quickly as you can to that Ferris wheel! Whoa! All right, hey you. Oh, Devin, you came. I'm so glad. What? No, I haven't been waiting. I just got here a minute ago. <laughs> hey, if you don't mind, you want to ride the Ferris wheel? Ooh, Mombasa City's Ferris wheel is really famous for having a beautiful view. Really, you don't mind? Great, I've been wanting to ride this Ferris wheel for a long time, but only two people can ride it, so I've held out this whole time. I'm so happy I'm all worked up. Let's hurry up and ride, Devin. All right. I'll even ride my bicycle. <laughs> this is really romantic. It really is, baby. Uh, um, I'm a little nervous for some reason. It's okay. There's no need to be nervous. I'm a professional. And you're not sweating, right? Please don't sweat, baby. It's strange. Talking with you makes me feel so happy. That's perfect. I feel the same way. Deep in my heart. You have no idea. These calls we've had are magical. That's why I wanted to meet you in person and say thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. And I'm so glad you're not sweating. You have no idea. I really felt something great. Now I'm on my bicycle again. I'm so thankful for everything you've done for me. I feel like I can work so hard at this job thanks to you, Devin. I'd like it if we could keep talking from time to time. Okay, I'm going to get going. Today was a lot of fun. See you later, Devin. And she heads off. Yep. She's gone. But that was so romantic. Am I right? <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, you have to keep up the same process now, but should be a little bit more motivated. <laughs> okay, so, let's see. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I'm glad we can talk face to face. <laughs> Stop that! Hey, Sai, sorry, that was my sister and brother bothering me. They seem to get jealous when I talk to you, Devin. Ah, uh, they're usually bratty, but I guess they can be cute sometimes. Arrgh! Hey, I said stop! Sai, sorry, Devin, it seems that I have to spend time with them today. Talk to you soon. Okay. Um, is it just me or did she look a lot happier? I'm not kidding, this feels like I'm playing some kind of, like, 
I don't know, dating simulator or something. Those are weird from what I've heard. Didn't think Pokemon would go in that direction, but hey, why not, right? I gotta see her smile again. <laughs> okay, let's ride my bike on over to Route 9. We'll see if she's there. As you can see, if you have a Pokemon you're training up in the daycare, that's a good idea. I don't, but you can probably see I'm riding around a lot on my bike. Ah, Devin, I'm glad we can talk face to face. Cough, cough. Sorry, I got a cold, it seems. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I guess so. I'll stay home and rest for now. But seeing your face should help me recover sooner, Devin. Ah, <laughs> talk to you soon. See, she's all smiling now, and she's all flirty. Man, they put some flirty text in there, I tell ya. There she is. Ah, Devin, I'm glad we can talk face to face. I went on a business trip to the Kanto region the other day. They let me visit Mount Moon, and I saw Clefairy there. They were so cute. Tee hee. Oops, I better get back to work. Talk to you soon. Bye. There we go. Let's give her another call. Okay, I went on a business trip to the Kanto region the other day. Wait, didn't you just say that? You totally just said that. <laughs> and they say I repeat myself. I found a nice walking spot with a wonderful view the other day. That spot may look totally different depending on the season. Maybe we could go for a walk together sometime soon. Oh yeah, how romantic. Okay, well, let's see if we can find her back at Nimbasa City. Maybe. Or at least call her there. Oh yeah, I was right. Tee hee. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh sorry, I couldn't help smiling because I'm talking to you. Wow! <laughs> it's so much fun talking to you, Devin. I wish it would last forever. Whoa! Whoa, I'm speechless here. I'm just speechless. This is fun. <laughs> Here she is again. We're in Lacanosa town. Let's give her a ring. I mean, give her a call. I'm not ready for a ring just yet. Ah, I found this shop that bakes really good cakes the other day. They bake things that taste mysterious. I've never tasted anything like them. Maybe we could go there together sometime soon. All right, count me in for that. I love cake. <laughs> Whew, that took forever. She ended up being on Route 6, but I went pretty much everywhere. <laughs> okay, I've been too busy and sleep deprived lately. I know the feeling. If it wasn't you I was talking to, Devin, I'd have fallen asleep by now. Ah, oops, I have to get back to work. Talk to you soon. Okay. This time around, she was in Lacanosa Town. Cool. I went to the Battle Institute in Nimbasa City to take the battle test. I did a little better than the last time. I'll keep trying to get better results. I'd appreciate it if you could tell me about Pokemon battles, please. Oops, I better get back to work. Bye. Okay, let's try some of the nearby areas. Oops, I do that every time. And, <laughs> easy as that, she's on Route 12. Come on, pick up. Whoa, where are you? Oh, sorry, I've kept you waiting. <laughs> I'm on my break right now. Couldn't help answering because I wanted to talk to you. It's voice only, sorry. 
My job keeps me busy, and I was just about to collapse, but hearing your voice is giving me energy, Devin. Oops, my break is over. I have to go back to work. Next time, I want to be looking at your face while we talk. Your face. Talk to you soon. All right. Whoa, I can call her again. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna look at your face, too. Yay! There she is. I'm glad we can talk face to face. I was using the dowsing machine the other day, and I got something awesome. I gave it to my dad, and he was really pleased. I'm glad you told me about the dowsing machine a while ago, Devin. Oops, I better get back to work. Bye. Wow, I get to call her three times on this route? That's so awesome. Okay. I found this shop. Ooh, she's telling me about cakes again. Sweet. Okay. She is repeating herself, though, but that's fine. I like hearing about cakes. So, let's see if she's back in... Oh, it's so easy. Love this. Okay. I bought a soda pop from this vending machine the other day. Guess what? I got an extra as a bonus. It's great, isn't it? Have you ever got a bonus before, Devin? I would have shared it with you had we been together then. Oh, She's so adorable, man. She's like the flirtiest thing in this game, I tell ya. Even more so than Lisa. Okay. Let's see, maybe she's on Route 12. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of looking around. Oh, that's great. I haven't had a fly in a while. Okay. I found a nice walking spot. Oh yeah, she's talking about walking with me again. All right. All right. Okay, Route 16. Let's give her another call. Oh, she's still talking about cakes. Oh, that's great. I'm gonna call her back. Uh, all right. I was just thinking about you, Devin. What did I just say? <laughs> well, I have to go back to work now. Talk to you soon. All right. I like where this is going. Ooh, nice. Right at Nimbasa City, too. I went to the Battle Institute. Aw, oh, she's talking about that again. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. I don't like it when you repeat yourself, though. Awesome. I get a caller again. This time in Lacanosa Town. I went on a business trip to the Hoenn region the other day. They have many unique towns and cities. They really surprised me. Their famous lava cookie was really good, too. Oops, I better get back to work. Bye. Okay, this time around, she was found on Route 6. Ah ha ha! I went to the Battle Institute. Alright, well, that's great. I'm happy for you. Alright, cool. Whoops. Darn it. Route 12, I think this is. Come on, pick up. Whoa, hello? What the, hello? What the heck happened? Ah, Devin, I'm glad we can talk face to face. Sorry about last time. This person from work answered my cross transceiver by mistake. Sorry I wasn't there to answer you when you took your time to reach me. I guess taking a break when you aren't supposed to gets you sooner or later, huh? Oh, I was just talking to myself. Ah, oops, time's up. I have to get back to work. Talk to you soon. Wow, that was weird. I was like, hello? Huh. Okay.
Okay, so we're gonna try this again now. We're gonna see if, uh, if we can talk some sense into Yancey. I've waited a full day, actually even more than that, because I changed the clock earlier to see if that had something to do with it. And, uh, yeah, it didn't seem like it. In fact, if anything, I think it probably reset the amount of times I need to talk to her. Or something, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's try this cross transceiver. Yay, there she is. Okay, let's see if she has something to say. Ah, Devin, I'm glad we can talk face to face. What, you want to see me now? Hold, hold on a sec. Yep, I think I can make it. How about meeting up at the Ferris wheel in Mbasa City? I'm so looking forward to it, Devin. See you later. Okay, excellent. So, from what I've gathered, either I somehow magically hit call number 50 on the dot, or after the 50th call, which is the one where it shows her in her work uniform briefly, after that, you have to wait a day before she will show up. And you can't just skip your DS clock ahead, like I tried to do, because otherwise you're going to have to wait two midnights before she'll show up. I know! Crazy, right? But anyway, we've finally done it. It looks like I can trade her. So I brought me a Bidoof. Yep, I brought me a Bidoof to trade. <laughs> she will trade for any Pokemon. Oh, Devin! Ah, I couldn't wait, so I hurried here. I'm happy to see you. Hey, would you like to ride the Ferris wheel with me? I've taken a bit of a shine to it. Really? That's great! Why did I get so excited all of a sudden? Let's hurry and ride, Devin. Okay. Here we are again, you and me, baby. I know I've called you like probably a hundred times. But really, I just want to trade Pokemon. You're beautiful. I love your hat and your face and the fact that you don't sweat. Is it because I'm with you? You bet it can be. But I'll be honest, I'm really looking forward to trading you. I want to get some of your Pokemon. Oh, it's over already. Maybe for you. But not for me. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, yeah, so, hey Devin, when I was in a different region for work, I caught Meowth. Will you trade me one of your Pokemon? I'll take any Pokemon. I just want to trade. Yes. So make sure you click correctly, otherwise you could end up trading one of your, uh, one of your main Pokemon. But you should have a spare Pokemon with you. Trade Bidu for Meowth? Thank you, Meowth also looks happy. So, yeah, you'll be able to trade any Pokemon for one of hers, and that's just wonderful. That is just wonderful, um, because she will trade you a Meowth. Now, if you're playing as the, uh, as the girl character, she'll trade you a Mankey instead. Um, her list of Pokemon she trades changes depending on... Well, actually, her list remains the same. It's Curtis who has a different set of Pokemon. Thanks for coming today. I was really happy you invited me. Being with you again has given me a lot of energy. Ah, now I have energy for work. All right, well, bye. See ya. Bye. Yeah, so it looks like the missing piece of the puzzle is you have to wait a day after the 50th call um, before she'll start with the trades. Now, just out of curiosity, I'm going to see if I can trade again. Oh, actually, really quick, let's take a look at that Meowth. Now, this one is cool. It's holding a rare candy. Um, yeah, that's pretty great. Jolly nature. That's cool. I think the nature is random. I'm not entirely sure, but I do know that it has its hidden ability, which is kind of nice. In fact, all of her Pokemon come with their hidden abilities. Pretty cool. Now, I'm pretty sure she'll only trade you once a day, though. Um... And that's a bit of a pain. But, you still can't trade her. I'm going to go ahead and fly somewhere just to see if I can talk to her again. After that, I'm going to, um, I'm going to change the clock on my DS to go forward a day and see. I have a feeling it won't work quite right, though. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, found a nice walking spot. Yeah, she's making the same old dialogue as before, darn it. 
So we're gonna see what happens if uh, if we wait a day. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I went ahead and I set my clock forward one day. Um, I also set it so it was j almost the next day too. So we're just gonna see if this will trigger the next trade or if we have to wait the full amount of time. Ah, uh, looks like she went on a business trip. Darn it. Ah, I gotta track her down again. It'd be rather inconvenient if you have to actually wait the full amount of days. Then I can't show you all the Pokemon in this video. I'm not gonna wait 12 days to do this video, no. What kind of a fool do you take me for? Okay, well, I called her twice and it looks like she's not asking to trade again. So, um, right now I set my clock so it's 23.56, so in four minutes the day will change. I'm gonna call her back just to see if that changes things. If it does, that would make it a bit more convenient, still a hassle, but a little bit more convenient because then you could just set your clock to, oh, like 23.58 or something, or 23.59, and then... The, the day will change in the game, so should reset it. Although I hear you have to wait two midnights now, and that would be a pain. That would be a real big pain, so we're going to find out, but I'm just going to wait four or so minutes until the day changes in my game, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, so the day changed. Let's give her a call. What? You want to see me now? Okay, cool. So, it looks like I might be able to do this after all. Nice. So you don't have to wait the two midnights, you just have to change the date on your DS to uh, the next day, and then set the clock to like, oh, I don't know, 2358 or 2359 or something. So, let's see what the second Pokemon she wants to trade is. Fly on over to Nimbasa. Okay, so she caught Wubbuffet. All right, let's trade another Bidoof I happen to have. Just kind of chilling. Bye-bye, Bidoof. Now I get myself a Wubbuffet! Cool! Very cool. Alright, nice. See ya, Yancey. Let's take a look at this thing. Alright! Wow, there we go. Rage Candy Bar, nice. It comes with its hidden ability, telepathy. Huh, cool. Okay, well, you know what this means. We're gonna see all those trades after all. Let's save, and then I'm going to set my date to, um... Let's see, I guess it'll have to be 11.19. But then, um, let's see, 23.50, whatever. So let's do that quick. Okay, so from the main menu of your Nintendo DS, you want to go to that bottom thing and then set the, uh, set the date to whatever the current date is, plus one. Or whatever the previous date was, plus one. And then go to this little timer thing, set it to 2359, and you're good to go. This might change based on which DS system you're using, but it's roughly the same. Alright, great. Looks like it worked again. As long as you change the date on your DS to the next day and then at like, uh, I don't know, 2359, you'll be able to trade with her again and again. You don't have to wait for that full day. Otherwise, you have to do it only once per day. And changing the date just to the next day won't work. You actually have to go to midnight. Okay, next up, she'll trade you a Ralts for anything. So I brought along this nose pass that I don't want anymore. Let's trade it.
Cool. So, as you can see, I've got myself a Ralts now. And it has its hidden ability. Telepathy. Cool. Okay, time to repeat the process. She has a total of 12 trades she'll trade you. And then the cycle will repeat. So, let's see what the remaining 9 are. Alright, so... Now she'll trade a shield on! Cool! I brought a whole bunch of different random Pokemon to trade. So let's go through with it. Now, if uh, you're playing as the female character, in this trade, she'll trade you a, um, oh, whatchamacallit, a Kranidos instead. Just so you know. Otherwise, the last two trades remain the same, and then the first trade is for Mankey instead of Meowth. And that's if you're playing as the male character and dealing with Curtis. Okay, so just gonna do a little bit of post-commentary over these trades really quick here. Um, basically, a couple points to go over. First of all, in order to get the calls very fast, I recommend you fly back and forth to, um, to Lacanosa Town and then ride to Route 12, check it at Lacanosa Town, check it at Route 12, check it at Route 13. If that doesn't work, go to Wendella Bay, check it there, uh, then south through 14, Route 13? 14. Check it there. Um, then Nimbasa. I mean, just try to check all the places in order until you find her. But Lacanosa is the best because you can just ride back and forth to find three different locations. Additionally, you can always see that little red bar thing on the side, the scroll bar. And that's the, uh, the signal that she's ready to call you, essentially. Then, after you've gotten to the 50th call, you need to make sure you save your game and wait a day. You can either wait a day, or you can change the, the uh, clock in your DS, your Nintendo DS. If you do that, though, you want to make sure that you set it to the next day, but then set it to midnight. Um, actually, set it to 23.59, and then wait like a minute or two in-game. Then you'll be able to go to an area, and then you'll be able to call her up again. And then you'll be able to get the dot 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 and she wants to meet you in trade scene. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's take a look at all the Pokemon that Yancey can trade you. Here they all are inside of a box. Total of 12 of them. Um, yeah, they all have their hidden abilities, which is pretty cool. Plus they're all holding some kind of food item. Um, something like the Lava Cookie, or Old Ghetto, or Rare Candy. Uh, so let's take a look at them, one by one. First we have her Meowth. Uh, the Nature, and, uh, I think the Nature and Gender, they can change. It's random. Um, but the Ability is always set. And so is the Level, and the Held Item. Here's her Wubbuffet. Here's her Ralts. Oh, and one quick note with, um, I might as well explain the differences. So, this Meowth, if you're playing as the female character, you'll be trading with Curtis instead. And he will trade you a, um, a Mankey instead of a Meowth. They'll, they'll both trade you Wubbuffet and Ralts, though. Um, but then... Shield on is only traded if you are trading with Yancey. If you are trading with Curtis, then he'll trade you a Kranidos instead. Um, both of them will trade Rhyhorn to ya. And this is a look at that thing. And then there's the Shellos. Well, um, if you are trading with Curtis, he will trade you the, uh, what is it, the blue one, the East Sea Shellos. And, um, you know, it's a little difference, I guess. Not substantial, but still kind of cool. Then the next trade is Mawile. Um, if you're trading with Curtis, you'll get a Sableye instead, which is pretty neat because it has its prankster ability. There's Spirit Tomb. Both of them will trade you Spirit Tomb, so no need to worry about that. It has Infiltrator, its hidden ability. And likewise, both will trade you a Snorlax with its gluttony ability. 
Next up, Teddy Ursa. It has the uh, Honey Gather ability, which is kind of interesting, I guess. Um, if you're trading with Curtis, he'll trade you a Fampy instead. Then there's a Spinda. This one has Contrary, which is a pretty interesting uh, ability. It makes it so all stat raises are reversed and all stat lowerings are reversed. So basically, um, if something lowers its special attack, it would raise it instead. And if something would raise it, it would lower it. Rather interesting, but kind of a fun hidden ability, that's for sure. Um, both of them do trade you, Spinda. And lastly is Togepi. Both will trade you Togepi, and it comes with its hidden ability, Super Luck. Yeah, pretty cool. Level 50 Togepi, no less. That is pretty intense. Anyway, that is it. That is it. Sorry this took so long to get out there, but as you can see, there is a lot to it. Um, yeah, there's a lot to it. But hopefully this gives you an idea now of what to do to get all these cool Pokemon from, uh, from Yancey. And also, after you've gotten them all, the cycle will repeat. So then the next time you call her up after a day has passed, she will trade you Meowth and then Wobbuffet, and so on. So you can basically get unlimited of any of these Pokemon with their hidden ability. It's not that bad of a way to get rare candies either, if you don't mind being patient. <laughs> anyway, hope that was cool. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon White 2 Adventure. See you next time, trainers.